Today I wanted to show you this little miniature library I created inside a, a metal lantern that I found at Hobby Lobby. It had the front glass broken out, so I got it for a discount and had the idea to make a tiny little bookshelf with tiny little books <laughs> and make this little vignette inside of this lantern. And I aged up the lantern and created the bookshelf from scratch. And here I'm just putting together some real thin um, balsa wood, I think. It might have been bass, but I got it on uh, also at Hobby Lobby. And just used hot glue and made it easy on myself to put it together. And I usually don't count on a scale. I just sort of go by my eye, which seems to work, but it might be a good idea to learn how to do scale. And just kept placing everything, marking it off, and just sort of testing out measurements, how I thought it looked. And the nice thing is that you can cut through this wood just with shears or even scissors, really. Here, I'm using scissors, so obviously. Just kept trimming and cutting and gluing. <laughs> then I decided to make some faux trim work from these coffee stir sticks. I use these for almost everything, for you know, wooden siding on something smaller to shingles to a lot of this kind of stuff where it's just perfect for like a trim. And you can layer them, cut into them, whatever you want to do. Here I was just layering it until I got it to the depth I wanted and made it feel a little bit more decorative with some of the curved edges being layered on top, like an Art Deco sort of theme. Trimming everything up and then decided to do some frames or braces in the front. I don't even know what those are called, actually. Trim work. I only had these little matchstick things that were the right width, and so I just kind of glued them and made them look like they were together. Then I just used some brown burnt sienna and some brown and some water, basically to make a faux stain and really, really wet. I just painted it on and then Wiped it off and painted it on, wiped it off and just kind of wanted to see the grain but still make it look like an old wooden library shelf. So it was a lot of trial and error. And sometimes the hot glue doesn't let you cover it up. So I did go back in with non-watered down paint and cover those up. But for the most part, it really worked and it's less stinky than stain. <laughs> so I liked it. A lot of nooks and crannies to fill out. Then to make the books, I decided just to use this thicker cork board that I had. Easy to cut, and it was a nice width. I did glue some of them together to make thicker books, and then just took some scrapbook paper, hot glued the covers, the pseudo covers on, that later I aged and off camera um, added some ink to make it look like a tea stain sort of thing and a worn out. Look, I actually ran over them with some emery boards and things like that. And then I did this same wash from the bookshelf on the books. It was a great way to age them up and sort of make them look like they've been sitting around forever. Here I love to always add a little bit of this gold touch. I think it's from Dixie Belle. And just I usually rub it on with my fingers and it just tends to bring out really beautiful details. It's kind of a fun touch on almost everything I do. And then just had fun placing all the little objects and books, um, gluing them on one by one. I ended up using every single little book I made, which was a little surprising because I thought I had too many, but I didn't. I'm just sort of testing the spaces. And this is my favorite part, honestly, is just putting these final touches together in these little miniature worlds that I make. And hot glue is my best friend <laughs> when it doesn't when I don't get burned. And here's the final product. I hope you like it and enjoyed watching this. Thank you so much for your support and I hope that you'll come back and subscribe and continue to watch my channel as it grows. Thanks.